previously on Resident Evil Revelations. No. We're on the Queen Samiramis. <coughs> I don't have a signal. Maybe we can fix it. Are you two all right? We did it! Shit hit the fan here. All hell's about to break loose. The solar energy matrix has activated. The satellites have destroyed Terragrigia. Boss, get us out of here. <sighs> Sorry. But I can't authorize that. Sir, what is going on? Uh, you're out of time, I'm afraid. A rescue just isn't possible. What you talking about, Clive? Chris is if we were dead, sea, we're out of time. We'd be dead. Time. Chris? He's all right? Oh, yeah, she has no clue that he's okay. No time to explain. I'll do what I can to stop the attack. O'Brien out. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. It's now time to begin the second half of the game, so let's dive right into it. Where we last left off, Jack Director O'Brien informed us that the Regia Solis, Terra Solar Energy Matrix, has There's reactivated and someone do. is trying to destroy the ship. The Quinn's obviously been informed, so he's going to help us oh form a plan in order to stop the satellite from sinking the ship. ship. I can figure this out. Just get back inside for now. I'll radio you again soon. If you haven't done so already, make sure you do a quick sweep of the observation deck. Make sure you get everything you possibly can. At this point, I've got everything I can carry, so let's head on down. Just remember, once you go down, you can't come back up. And there goes the last working elevator to the observation deck. Stuffed. Anyway, let's hear what Quint has as far as an idea goes. I know what you have to do. You're gonna use the UAV. The UAV? There's a drone plane on this ship? Yep, Veltro used it to carry out their attacks last year. Oh, right, 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 right. The UAV can discharge shaft that will throw off the satellite's targeting system. Okay. That sounds like a confusing plan, is where we're going. but a smart one. I like it. You better move fast. Quint, out. Okay, even though Quint said we're on a, we gotta move fast, we're not on a time limit, which is good. We're gonna do a little bit of backtracking and open a few doors that we haven't got around to yet, especially now that we've got the Veltro keycard. It's just a matter of waiting for this door to open. Oi. Any time now. All right, let's rush him. Take this. All right, Pally, you're next. Gotcha. <sighs> Looks like we have blisters to take care of as well. Yikes! Uh, no offense, Parker, but that's not the thing I'm focused on right now. We can climb the stairs. This one's gonna try and give me the bumps rush too. Out of my way, ugly. All right, let's go in here. Stupid ball of pus. Get out of the way. Okay, now that we're inside, we've got some magnet bullets to grab, machine gun bullets, and even more machine gun bullets. Gotcha. With all the custom parts we've been getting, one has to wonder, when are we going to get to a box and check out what we've got? More to the point, when are we going to further modify our weapons? We'll get around to it. Remember this door? Let's pry her open. At the end of the hall, we should find ourselves the second most powerful weapon in the game. Oh, baby. The Python is a revolver, specifically a Magnum. But since we don't need it, take back a window and head on our way. Whoa, yikes! Out of my way, asshole. 
Alright, so as far as our backtrack goes, the cabins are. And if you recall, there was a safe hidden behind a painting. The key card should be able to pop it open and we can grab whatever's inside. Even though you're shooting at me, it's your lucky day. I'm gonna let you live. Holy shit! It's Rachel. It's me. Then don't play with her. Just run. Holy smokes! There are tricorns everywhere. It's like a motherfucking infestation. This good thing is so damn feeble. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Ah, sweet. Custom parts. Put my gun real quick and head on through the door. Should be getting close to the elevator. What the? How'd you get in front of me? Ah! Short. Just about there. Had quite a few of them. Spoke around with a grenade. Not the shock a blast can't handle. Alright. Oh, good, you're keeping up. Off to the bridge we go. Some shells back in. Reload my rifle as well. You never know what might jump out at you. All right, let's go. The UAV's in the forecast. You know, Parker, you're starting to sound like a bit of a broken record. I don't need you to tell me a thousand times, so just cool it. I know what I gotta do, just give me space. All clear, let's go. Okay, so that safe we're looking for should be in that one meeting room. Right. And even more custom parts. What's the matter? Stop and take a piss or something? Keep up. I'm sure by the time we get to the next part, we should see what, exactly what we got as far as custom parts goes. Have you got rocks in your pants or something? I can give you an easy access to lobotomy for being so damn slow. You want to survive in this army? You got to keep up because I got no problem leaving one of my own behind. Where's the UAV? Oh, great, hunters! I guess Belcher's got enough to keep us busy. It's also very fortunate they left a bunch of ammunition behind, so let's pick it up. Especially the grenades. Those are for almost any situation. Oh look, and another safe. Even more custom parts. Thank you very much. Alright. Let's take a fight to these assholes. Swing that thing. Is that a way to treat a lady? I didn't think so. Right in the face. Here comes another one. <laughs> gotcha. Thirty more. Take a breather and reload my rifle real quick. 
I'm ahead of the foredeck. Uh-oh. Still under attack. Stay down. All right, now if you want to win, hunker down in here and grab a weapon that can pierce. Rifle or machine gun. And take him down. You're next. Music's still going, so there's still going to be quite a few coming. Okay, here they come. Oh, you're pretty gutsy. You got the perfect closest of all of them. Two for one. That's the way I like it. Finally, some peace and quiet. You said it. But before we open the container, let's grab our spoils. I think it would have given us some rifle ammunition. But oh well. Let's see what we got in here. Over nice. Here. Thank God. Huh. What could the BSAA want with me? Uh, how long has it been? One whole year. I hate to disappoint, but you're too late. Okay, what gives? Why is Director O'Brien calling Morgan Lansdale? Does Lansdale know something that we don't? Something suspicious is going on. I guess we'll have to wait till the next part to find out what he's got planned for us. So until then, thank you for watching, and it's great to be back. I'll see you in the next part. Peace out!